not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes! The danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! Halloween! Candy, Candy draft. draft. This is kind of strange. Yes, yeah, strange, Charlie, but it's fun. <laughs> On WGR. Welcome to the Candy Draft. Let's meet our players. Mike Schoep and the Bulldog, you know us. Jeremy White rolled out of bed right square in nap time here to join us for our Candy Draft. Hello, Jeremy. I want two marshmallows. I heard that about you. It's my team name. It's my philosophy in life right now. Anybody here ever get a marshmallow for Halloween? I don't know who would do that to no. a person. No. Do those, like, gross, almost not really orange, more nude-colored circus peanuts count as marshmallows? Oh, jeez. Oh. I've never heard they're... them described as nude-colored, and you just made them worse. They, they're not really or They're more nude-colored I... than orange. You do hear a lot lately about the injustices in the world, and now this. <laughs> it's tough times. Also joining us is my niece, Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Hello. Madeline is 13, and you must really love candy, being 13. Yeah, I like candy. Do you have strong opinions <laughs> about it? Because that's really how we operate. Strong opinions. Yeah, I do. I mean, All right, well, that I'm sure that will show itself here in yeah. the next 90 minutes. You like what you like, and you're ready to defend it. Yeah. All right. That's all That's all we <laughs> ask for. I feel like you're kind of a candy ringer. <laughs> I was ready to fight Bulldog about if there is chocolate in Reese's Pieces before. So I had your back, Tom. Thank I you. had your back. I knew that that was right. I've been listening to you guys for the first hour, and I'll be honest. There are a few candies that have not been mentioned, and I'm just, like, holding out hope that you're all oblivious to their existence. There's no way that's right. the fact that, like, these few have not even been brought up, and I just see that as a victory on my part. I'm going to win the draft on the second pick. I'm ready for it, so. Uh, well, we'll get you, you, the draft are, order. you are if you get all M&Ms with M&Ms. I mean, if you just do that, I mean, that's going to be tough to beat. Well, I just don't even like M&Ms. We... We'll get you the draft order in just a moment. Longtime listeners to our show and Bulldog may remember a story many Halloweens ago where Madeline, who's with us now, and her older brother Joshua might have been ages six and four at the time, seven and five, went trick-or-treating, and just it was a haul for them. They went they were out a long time, and I was it their mother is my wife's sister. We were all together, and they just had these honking big candy bars, Snickers, Three Musketeers, Reese Cups, yep. everything. And I, I had gone out, too, just for fun, and had all these, like, little Smarties and and uh, Twizzlers and little candy things. And I just said, kiddingly, I'll trade you my stuff for your stuff. And they both went, yes. Whoa. Yeah. And then you, Bulldog, you killed me for this. Like, how could you take advantage of you these kids? You ripped them off. There are people in my family that still harbor a grudge. Here's Madeline all these years later, perhaps to get her revenge. We'll see. Tom Sitch will be drafting, too. The order is, I have the first pick. We went to random.org, then Jeremy, then Bulldog, Madeline, and Tom. Snake draft, so Tom will go five and then six. And you can follow along, Twitter, hashtag Candy Draft, on our website, WGR550.com. We've got some can candy lytics information and pictures. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. I was born yeah. ready for this. Not only is this pick I'm about to make my favorite candy by eight miles, but it is one of my favorite foods, and no. that is, mm -hmm. yes? We've decided families, right? I'm just I'm making sure. Families has been the decision. The M&M mm. family is the Eminem family? I'm objecting, but I, I'm losing. So yeah, I, I got a vin, I got a vending machine guy who says peanut M and M's outsell plain fifty to one. They need to be separate, but yeah. you know. Well, then it sounds like the regular M and M's are a hanger on to the the peanut. Sure. All right, I'm fine. Just I, I, I don't want to hold everything up. We we, we time constraints. I'll, right, I'll right. live. I'm thrilled to go first. This is the only candy I ever need. I'm not a sweet guy. A sweets guy. This is the only one I ever want, and that is Reese's. Mm. With the first pick of the candy draft, Reese's, or as I prefer to say, Reese's cups, 
I don't need the pieces. I'll take the sticks. I, I just want the cups. That's it. You also get a great deal of added value there. There are many types of Reese's peanut butter cups now, mm -hmm. and Reese's has several candy bars that are very strong. So this is quite a win for you. So he gets all the bars, not just the cups. He gets the. That's what they said. I'm not for it. I don't think. I don't. I don't think the fast break is in the family with the cup. I don't think that the pieces are in the fan. I think you get no. the two butter, the two peanut butter cups, and all derivatives of that: the white chocolate, the dark chocolate. You get the general. Reese's peanut butter cups. Can I ask a question? Where do you people shop that you see all these varieties of peanut yeah. butter cups? I've Every... never, ever, ever seen anything but the classic orange I've never Reese's seen peanut butter cup white package. White chocolate. Oh. I stopped Reese's at pieces? the NoCo right down the street from my house today. White chocolate peanut butter cups right there next to the what? normal ones. Madeline is 13. She goes to places looking for candy. You don't see these. <laughs> these candies they're, they're discussing no, i've never seen white chocolate reese's pieces well, you're or cups. you don't have to worry about it because they're off the board mm. all right okay reese's reese's <laughs> peanut butter cups go first huh are gone basically okay. jeremy pick two pick two well gentlemen uh first team two marshmallows I'd like to thank everyone back home at the original <laughs> pizza logs draft party watching and listening at home <laughs> oh he's I'm got a bag you. he's got <laughs> props props what well, we invited our draftee to the draft today. Oh, my gosh. And being that we went with uh, families, I was really pushing to get the family's decision put through because this pick is strong enough on its own. Uh, but also, it's it's the family that's really going to drive it home. I will take – I actually learned of a new family member at the gas station on the way here. Oh, I'm mm. This family I'm, is uh, growing. I'm getting nervous. I'd like to welcome uh, the newest member to Team 2 Marshmallows, Snickers Pumpkin. <laughs> oh. It goes with Snickers peanut butter oh, and man. all the Snickers. Snickers Give me all the Snickers in the world. Pumpkin Snickers. I haven't even that, tasted it yet. Horrible. But if that's it's got, one that has a lot of varieties. Yeah. I don't know if that's all the Snickers. Eight letters Snickers. If you see those mm. those eight letters on any piece of candy, it is mine. Snickers. Oh. Snickers Read it and weep. <laughs> Just so we're clear, that's not a pumpkin flavored Snickers. Uh, it's a pumpkin shaped Snickers. <laughs> Whatever, they'll probably make a pumpkin flavored <laughs> one soon. <laughs> we, let me let me make sure. Are we sure? Uh, there's no way this doesn't taste like pumpkin. It, there is absolutely a way that does oh, not man. taste like pumpkin. That is a Snickers shaped like a pumpkin. Snickers He's pumpkin. Right. <laughs> He's right. I'll still take it. It's Snickers. just a pumpkin shaped. It's Snickers pumpkin as opposed to pumpkin oh. Snickers. That's right. Mmm. I feel great about my pick. If you've never had the Snickers peanut butter squares, <laughs> change your life right now. Everybody. Mm. Wow, you're putting that dangerously put, close put, to me. I'm, put, I'm, I'm serious. I brought it for you to eat because wow. not enough people have had Snickers peanut butter. I will be at some point tonight handing out candy, which means I will be eating candy. So I'm going to go ahead and not eat candy now because I will eat mm -hmm. way more candy than I ever should. Extra laps at Delaware Park for me after tonight because I always eat way more. I don't eat a lot of candy. I used to eat more candy. Mike can tell you. I used to get a bag of Skittles, I don't know, three times oh, a week Skittles. in here. and Separate them by separate color. Separate them by color because huh. I'm kind of pretty insane. Uh, and then eat them accordingly by rank. Like <laughs> orange <Yes>. number one, <laughs> green. Would you eat the best ones first? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Save I would save orange. Same. Yeah. I wouldn't eat the best ones first either. Right. I'd eat red, then yeah. those grape colored ones. I remember we affectionately called this beast mode. Whatever whatever there were more of, yellow or green next, and mm. then orange last. Orange is the orange. best. My kids still, when they get Skittles, can you tell when I'm picking third? I'm taking Skittles. Wow. <laughs> I'm a huge fruit oh. candy fan. It's a great pick. I don't, I don't like, what? It's a great a pick. Great I pick don't the like. the first round. I don't. I don't like chocolate that much. Like, I like chocolate okay. Fruit candy to me, and Skittles is the Peyton Manning of fruit mm. candy. There's just yep. no challenge. I've got, I've got no beef. <laughs> I got the best fruit candy ever created. <laughs> this is an outrage. You're an outrage. Yeah. I, me? I, what's wrong with Skittles? He doesn't even like Snickers, and he's calling I mean, Skittles an outrage? Like Snickers? <laughs> I mean, you're like you're like Nolan Naraki on Cam Newton right now. Like, what are you talking about? Of course, this is a number one caliber. I mean, pick. you're drafting something you don't even know what it is, and then Skittles. <laughs> that's how. That's the brand of Snickers. If it's on the package, I'm gonna buy it. Snickers pumpkin. I've got Snick original Skittles. I've got sweet and sour Skittles. I've Madeline. got tropical fruit Skittles. I'm all. I'm all good. Madeline is next. What a 
gift here for Madeline. Uh, all right, Madeline. Well, you have the fourth pick of the candy draft. What do you think here? Okay. I think my pick is going to be Jolly Ranchers. That's, That's variety right there. It's yeah. variety. It's a lot of hard candy. You got all different flavors, and you can trade them. And I mean. Okay. Well, tell me more about this. Trading them. Yeah. Well, what, like, what do you they just went to you, the top of Mike's board. There's a, there's a market for them. <laughs> If you and your friend have two different kinds that you you like certain kinds, you can trade them off and get better ones. Jolly Ranchers, you can suck on them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't even really know. I mean, I just and they also, they have make, never bought Jolly Ranchers. They make chewy ones now, too. I, I don't like those ones as much. Sort of gummy ranchers a little no, bit? No, 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 not gummy. They're more like... Um, like a Starburst, kind of. Starburst, yeah, like, just like Starburst. What kind of school cred does jo- Jolly Ranchers have? Oh, yeah. Big? Everyone loves Jolly Ranchers. More than Skittles? <laughs> yeah. More than oh, Reese's? Oh, that can't be right. No. I'm a big they're Jolly individually Rancher wrapped, guy, but so. I wasn't, I, to me, they weren't, they're not even a challenge you know, for hurting, Skittles, but hurting, all due respect. There's one thing hurting the Jolly Rancher score, and that is the likelihood of the wrapper to get stuck to it as you're oh, trying to true. eat it. Like that does, It's going to knock it a couple of points. You know, here I am. If I ever were to give out Jolly Ranchers at Halloween, I would assume that the kids are swearing to themselves as they leave my house. And mm-hmm. here you are, and I, I've known you almost your whole life, and I never knew that the that, that Jolly Ranchers meant mm-hmm. so much to you. They're great. So if I did that, I'd be wrong. The kids, you're saying kids want that. Yeah. I'm That's thinking I'm I a say. disappointment if I don't give them the big chocolate bar. <laughs> you're, you're like, no, who's even drafting chocolate bars here? The you know what this is like? This is kind of like... Uh, you're old school football guy. You went with the Reese's pick first. That's what the old school yeah. football guy. Should was I have right waited there. on Reese's? <laughs> I just feel like you know. I didn't think I could wait at all. I was I was excited to pick first because this I thought I had line. to to get Reese's cups. <laughs> well, yeah, we should be reading some tweets we're getting right. Some of these are really good. Brian's that you just retweeted: fruit <laughs> flavored versus chocolate is forward versus defenseman. Like that's a great that's right. a great point. Yep. Can I, can I pull One woman it? just told me that I would be dead to her if I didn't pick Reese's, and then I did, and she tweets, thank God. <laughs> mm, you're not dead. It's it's a pretty clear number one, <laughs> I think. Tom's on the Here, board. Here's an interesting tweet I just got. Horrible. <laughs> For what? Horrible. That's it. You want to go? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Ten tweets. What? Ten tweets? <laughs> <laughs> Who's up? I am, and uh, I got. Time for two. I, I'm going to do this first one, Tim Murray style, for you because it's a no-brainer. Uh, with the fifth overall pick in the Halloween candy draft, Team Sitch selects M and M's. M and M's at five, unbelievable. All the M and M's. M and M's invited to the draft, Tom. Thank uh, yes. I have two bags for you, regular and peanut, as they are in the family. And I will say, I will go on record that peanut butter M and M's are my favorite M and M's. Oh, I didn't get you those. Sorry. No, yeah. no, I noted. No, and these are sharing size, oh. so uh, you know. What's the difference between peanut butter M and M's and Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces have no chocolate. Wow, you weren't yeah. listening on the way. Yeah. In. Wow. And, and we're not even sure about that. It's no, true. yes, we are sure. I tweeted a picture of a cross section of a Reese's Pieces. There's <laughs> no chocolate. I, are you the tweet brand a picture of the mixed section into the peanut butter? Tweet a picture of the ingredients. The, no chocolate. If you look at the company website, it says Reese's peanut butter in a candy shell. That's mm. what it is. That's the product. <laughs> this is absurd that you're making me yell this much. I don't know why you guys are fighting it. It's just true. <sighs> All right, M and M's. So M and M's fifth. M and M's off the board. Uh, they're fine. I mean, right? But have you ever been excited mm. to get have M and M's in no. your life? You know, I, I think it's yes. A, I think it's a great pick at five. I, I just didn't want to, you know, I don't want to be up there at the top picking m There's a lot of volume there. Having the whole family influ- – I'll tell you, there was, some, there was some arguing in my draft room. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, because, you know, I was – we were married – Skittles was Sammy Watkins for us. I mean, we were married to Skittles all along. <laughs> and, but M&M's – all-encompassing m and dumb <clears throat> again, was very tempting to me. But Tom. couldn't do it. Tom Skittles back back. are the Peyton Manning of fruit candy. Mm. What does that mean? That's that, that's the best fruit candy ever. Yeah. They're pretty good. And, and you're still going to have some people that think that's ridiculous because they like Sammy Baugh or something. Like, you know, which is, I did is, have is other there a, fruit candies higher on my board. Is there a Peyton Manning of everything? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, not what everything. Is, I, Skittles are for children, someone tweets at me. Men what? eat chocolate? 
Chocolate is what? what I get for my wife when I screw up. Like, what Skills do you mean? Are Many everyone. chocolate. How many rounds do we have on this thing? Eight. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, we better pick it up here. Tom, <laughs> sixth overall uh, for Team <laughs> Sitch. Skill. We're going Kit Kats. Oh, great pick. Kit yeah, Kats. I agree with it. Finally bars. a good pick. Good also come in a white chocolate variety, which is my personal favorite. First oh, round Kit first Kats. round great on Kit Kats. Good. <laughs> yeah. Overrated. What? Oh, like, see, what did we say before? There's Whatever the candy is, someone doesn't like it. Kit Kats. What about Kit Kats? Isn't great. Just never as good Kit as it Kats. should be. I bite into it and say, like, there, there should be more here. No, You're eating it wrong. Not... I mean, they're a little mm. dry, but yeah. they're wow. great. I mean, did you, you think can't... about Kit Kats at four? Should we? Uh, what? I just... Did you think about Kit Kats at four? You went right to I... Jolly Ranchers. You're happy with your pick. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away here, but I'm sleeping on something that I I, I, I got to stop talking. Should we be looking I, I need, at? Uh, I need Adam at, Schefter to get out of the room. At Deadspin's ratings as the like central scouting of candy, because I, I could give you their central scouting grade once they're picked, if you'd like. I'd like Kit that. Kit Kats are ranked eighth on Central Scouting's big board. Mm. I haven't seen this list. Mm. That's not too far off. No. How about Six. the others? We had uh, Reese's. Reese's one, Snickers oh. two, okay. uh, Kit Kat is eight. What Skittles? else did we have? Skittles are... Oh, these are just candy yeah, bars. Yeah, these are just candy bars. So it's not candy, it's That's just right. candy bars. Yep, these are just the bars. Well, you know, it's like European versus North well, American. This is useless to me. Yeah, then. these are the North American skaters. <laughs> All right, who's up? It is Madeline's Madeline, you're turn. up again. Okay. Now, does she, do you think here, does she go with something different, like in a different genre than Jolly Ranchers, or does she just go bang, bang? Let's see. Hmm. I got to say, I'm going to go with... Something really different. It's Pop Rocks. I don't know who gives those out on. I don't know who gives those out on. I believe Halloween, we but just went off the air. <laughs> well, all right. Let's hear about Pop Rocks. I Sell love it. Pop Rocks. <laughs> Sell it. There's different flavors, and they're different from any other candy. I they mean, they sort of explode in your mouth. Yeah. These Pop Rocks. All yeah. right. All right. I mean. You can conduct science experiments with them, so you got that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ed- they're educational. Right. There's value. <laughs> hey, look. They're horrible, right? Some <laughs> Sometimes you're in a draft and other teams have just other needs. They have other they have their needs and it works out for you. Pop Rocks, well, aka is, John McCargo right there. This is falling just spectacularly. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, me. I'm just thrilled. I, I couldn't be more no happy. No one else likes Pop Rocks. You're building a different kind of well, team. Well, you're mm. you're 13. Uh, I, I, True. Yeah, that, that, uh, that there's an age with difference taste. here that I think is coming into play. With taste, there really is no right and wrong, except with cucumbers. Bulldog happens to what? think cucumbers are great, and like that's definitively nuts. Yeah. But usually, like a- I will. You know, you like Pop Rocks, then you do. What can you? You. Yeah. It, what, your heart wants what it wants. Your taste buds, your tongue wants what it wants. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was my this, year before. this is family coming into play here, yeah, and, okay. and and age coming into play because I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting slaughtered for Skittles in the first round. I got Pop Rocks I love over Skittles. here. <laughs> Pop, Ro- Pop Rocks are like a street free agent in this thing, if they're anything, and he's over here patronizing us with this nonsense. Yes. All right, it's my pick. I was when you said you were. Man, I'm thrilled you took Pop Rocks. Believe me, because when you said you were going to go something completely different, I thought, like, oh, no, oh, no. Chocolate. She's going to go to, <laughs> the chocolate and, like, crispy wafer buried beneath <laughs> it with some caramel and Twix, caves, Kit Kats, skull in every day of the week. Anyone with taste buds faced with a choice between Kit Kats and Twix, Twix, 100 times what? out of 100. It's not even close. Yeah. It's a cookie versus a wafer, which is a distinction I'm sure your palate cannot comprehend. <laughs> which is why you would even put them in the same camp. Oh, yeah, because a wafer wow. that tastes like sawdust is way <gasps> better than a delicious yeah. chewy cookie. What is the co- chewy cookie? <laughs> chewy like cookie? Sawdust? It's crunchy. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll be honest. Every time, every time Tom says something, I don't know if it's right, but it sounds right. You know? He just uh, talks. Just firing just, away. Yeah, he's like yeah. talking about the... the, the Wafer how thick, and yeah, cookie. how thick the cookie is. I'm like, it sounds, it totally sounds right. Tom is like that center in bubble hockey, and he's just like right in front of the net. It's just constantly <laughs> spinning around. Whack, 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 whack. I think Twix is a great pick. My the rankings that I'm working off of have got Twix rated fourth. Central and, scouting. I'm, I'm thrilled with Central Twix. scouting has Twix as a four. Madeline thought ahead on of Kit Kat. Ahead of Kit Kat. Correct. Comment. What? On, on Twix? Twix? Um, they're not my favorite. Not impressed. No. Not impressed, BD, at all with that. <laughs> Madeline. 
<laughs> All right, let's go to Jeremy with the ninth pick of the Candy Draft. Hashtag Candy Draft. All right. You're stewing a little bit. I, I am because you know, anything to, else in that bag? I'm trying to read the room. There is something in this bag, mm-hmm. and I definitely want this thing, that, that this this candy that is in the bag. I don't know how long I have to wait to do it. Uh, but essence of drafting. I've already got the Snickers family, so I've got to go. I've got to go fruit family. I've got to mm-hmm. go in the fruit department. <laughs> fruit department. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take Starburst. Oh. oh, my. Oh, that's a good one. I just tweeted about Starburst. Well, somebody tweeted at me about Starburst. The, the exact line I here mean, was, Starburst very upset Skittles and Jolly Ranchers were drafted earlier. Big well, I mean, chip on shoulder. Well, Jolly Ranchers got no <laughs> pl- no place near Starburst. They shouldn't even be in the same stores. Starburst, on my, I mean, I've got the Starburst, the whole team. They, they, they do exotic Starburst, too. Tropical, oh, yeah. sweet and sour. I mean, Starburst jelly beans are amazing. Sure. Mm-hmm. It says Star- amazing. I've got it. Yes, Mike. They are amazing. Have you had one? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Aren't Starburst almost enough like jelly beans? Are they really no, to make Starburst what? jelly oh beans? God. Jelly beans are like Listen, sticky. I- I've noticed something about this trap. They Dri- both are driving in. What? You have shown a very large lack of knowledge about candy. Jelly beans keep- and a candy Starburst guy. Keep- are nothing alike. <laughs> you keep asking what nothing. candy is. Like, is that a candy? What is that? <laughs> I'm not a candy like, guy at all. I'm just saying, if I'm going into a draft, like, you know. What am I supposed to do? A GM walks into a room. Doug Whaley walks into a room, and the Jets GM is like, what's a quarterback? I'm like, oh, man, I feel great about this. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just <laughs> run over to NoCo and gorge on candy just so I'd be prepared? I'm embarrassed to be on the show with you right now. I've got Starburst, and I think we need to pay more attention to that because that's dominant. <laughs> Starburst that's is great. Dominant. That's a, it's an interesting call there. Interesting. Have you, did you read the room? Everybody loved it. <laughs> Clearly, he's never even say, put one in like, his mouth. So, what does it matter what he says? No, I've had Starburst, but you eat one, it takes like an hour. Oh my god, that's you, a now and later. You have not had a Starburst. <laughs> I have. In, but I gotta say, when if there's the two pack and you don't know what flavor it's gonna be, it can be a surprise. But it also can't be good because if you get two of the same flavor that you don't like, but you you're can out also of luck. Mm, you can also find friends, and then you find yeah. some friends that like the yellows, and you're like, yeah. oh my god, we can be best friends because you can have yep. all the yellows. Pinks are like gold, though. Yeah, yes. pinks, pinks, pinks are, are my that's favorite. The that's the best oh. one. Pinks and reds. See, that's why this is great. Pinks are horrible. Perfect. What? I'll take all those, and you can. What do you like? The orange. orange. All right. See. I like orange. Orange, 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 big orange is guy. terrible. We can be friends. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to him. There seems to be. <laughs> Jeremy's talking about reading the room. There seems to be some disagreement about which are the best candies. Uh, we'll continue with the candy draft here after sports. We've got a sports update just to make sure everyone's happy. Uh, from Tom Wrights with. Jeremy White, our producer Tom Sitch, my niece Madeline, Mike Show Open the Bulldog with the candy draft here on Halloween <laughs> on WGR. Hey, what's happening? The Crocklands, what's happening? Pop Rocks and bangs of the bite. Pop Rocks. The sizzle makes you giggle. Pop Rocks. Taste that it's sight. Pop Rocks. It's snapping. It's crackling. The Crocklands, what's happening? Pop Rocks. Introducing Pop Rocks Cracklin' Candy. They'll burst all over your mouth in cherry, grape, and orange. Pop Rocks. Taste as nice. Pop Rocks. The Cracklin's what's happening. Yikes. <laughs> the candy draft continues. My niece Madeline is here. She picked Pop Rocks earlier. Yeah. And that got a reaction. In her defense, the Cracklin' is what's happening. So <laughs> that's added value. Tom Sitch in the draft has M&M's and Kit Kat, went 5-6. Madeline at 4, picked Jolly Ranchers, also has Pop Rocks in the candy draft. Bulldog has Skittles and Twix. You're happy? Thrilled. You feel like you got two of the top three or four options. There. I got my favorite, and I got, I think, really my favorite chocolate dish candy as well in Twix. Jeremy's here. Jeremy has Snickers and Starburst. Big names. Yeah, I mean, if, every time you say it, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy just tweeted a picture. I have a friend who texted me uh, about here. His text was, the shots of Swedish fish in the green room are starting to depress me. And then Jeremy went and took a picture of Swedish fish in our green room by itself. Really funny. Looks lonely. Mm-hmm. Does. Could be a long wait. I'm up for 10 and 11 here as we continue the candy draft. And I- I'm going to. Try to compare this to like a fantasy draft because 
I'm guilty of this in fantasy sports. I can't get away from value. I'll be building a team, and I know I'll need this, but I've got to have that because that's better. Well, you don't know what any of it tastes like, so you might as well go that route. The shots keep coming. Jeremy was talking before when he went to Starburst, I feel like I need to tap into the fruit family. I don't have a fruit family. I've got a board, and by a lot, chocolate bars are what's up there. I've got a fever. So I'm going back-to-back here with the kind of candy that if you get in your trick-or-treat bag tonight, you are making sure you're going back to that house next year. None of this Skittles and and Starburst nonsense. Three Musketeers. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. Grossest candy bar uh. ever. Three Musketeers at 10. What is in it? Butterfinger at 11. Do you have a tug? What is going on? <laughs> Listen, you took three Musketeers before Milky Way? Listen, Butterfinger, Don't like the caramel. Butterfinger <laughs> saves you there. It's a decent pick of Butterfinger. You tell me three Musketeers is not a it's, blue chip I, I, stock? To me, it tastes like Aqua Fresh encased in chocolate. I mean, I just, I've got nothing for it. It's like, <laughs> what? It's just, it's, just like, it's, it's just nothing but nougat. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I think... wasn't I, even on... I tweeted it today. I even gave you the heads up. It wasn't even on my board. A no. lot of these candy bars are just... Hey, you know what we should try? Throw some more crap in there. <sighs> Reese's, Three Musketeers, Butterfingers. They're all chocolate and one thing. Right. It's almost like Three yeah. Musketeers. They're designing it. Like, should we put delicious caramel in there? No. no. Peanuts? <laughs> no. no. How about a cookie? No. No, nothing. No, put almost nothing in there. Whipped air <laughs> nonsense garbage <laughs> filler. They also had an ad campaign a while ago where they tried to sell it as a healthy alternative for people who wanted to lose weight and eat chocolate. That's how great it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that's like a, simplicity. That's a pretty bad Wonderlick score right there. Yeah. It was tabbed as health food. Yikes. Beauti- beautiful in its simplicity. Reese's, Three Musketeers, Butterfingers. This is my dream trick or treat bag. Right it's here. a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy at twelve. Oh, jeez. All right. Now. I've got I've got something here that I really want. It's it's not going to be Halloween candy, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this pick as an adult pick because I think this is something that I could use. I've got Snickers. You know, the family of Snickers is tremendous. You can do trick or treating. You can just buy it. Snickers they sell it as a meal. That's how complete that that pick is. It's a meal. <laughs> They'll have bacon Snickers before right. you know it. If you want to be sick, I mean, sure. I'm going family here, and this is a huge family. And the potential here is just, this is like drafting Fedorov because you guys aren't even scouting overseas. I'm going to take the entire family of those Lint chocolate bars, the Lind, t- the yeah. Wegmans Gourmet, Truffles. Sea Salt, those big, flat, dark, 60%, mm. the amazingness. Would you get the whole, you get the whole brand? The whole family. Mm. Does anyone ever give those out at Halloween? Do no. Do come in Halloween candy size? Is that They're the, expensive. Is that the distinction? It has to be Halloween candy? I thought everything was on the board. Oh. I, I'll take well, it, it off isn't, the board. You know, it isn't December 5th, but... <laughs> I'll take it off the board. I was under the impression you guys were talking about Christmas candy earlier and Easter candy. Mm. How did saltwater taffy... You brought up saltwater taffy. I bet I'm okay here. I wasn't going to draft it. He brought it up and I said... Are you getting okay. that in your bag? Well, no. I'm, you could, you could probably go to some neighborhoods well, then, and get then, these then let me take it off. You take it off the board? Could, no, he's right. I don't think you should have there to take are, it there off. There are probably neighborhoods where you will go door to door. Although, like, you, 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 it's not in my tax bracket. I didn't say Pop Rocks, and that's not generally a Halloween candy. I mean, I've had Pop kids, Rocks at Halloween. Get them. Oh, yeah. okay. They get them. Well, then I'm taking Look, if you I've want also to pick, had a lint truffle at Halloween. Listen, if, if you want to pick pork chops, I don't care. I mean, right. it's not a Halloween candy, but I'm not going to take it. The only reason I'm going to tell you not to take something is if maybe somebody else would. Well, then I'm, some... then I'm taking it. It comes in every flavor. It's gourmet. It's classy. I, my team's going to be a, a top flight team here. So the entire lint, whatever you say it, family. Because as we've just tweeted out, because I'm fancy, and that's right. I am going heavy on forwards. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Jeremy with the Lint Group. <laughs> Doesn't sound it so sounds good so Lint. good. Lint Group. Right. Lint, mm. Lint chocolate. I love those. I, my uncle would give us those those truffles on uh, Christ, for Christmas sometime. They were great. BD at 13, third round pick. 
Nestle Crunch oh. Bar. I'm surprised. I like this pick. Well, now, now I'm questioning it all of a sudden. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm like the GM who makes a pick, and now let me, let me ask you this. Now I, now, I, now I go back in my draft room and fire someone. Question. Do you, I mean, did you scout Crackle as well? I mean, Nestle Crunch and Crackle are, you know, you, couldn't you just wait for Crackle and done the same thing? Absolutely. I, I think there's a brand recognition that comes. Mike yeah. tweet, tweeted about Crackle earlier, and I thought, Crackle's a joke. Yeah, because it's only made Crunch. by Hershey. Crunch. Crackle is a joke? Yeah. Just because of the wrapper, the blue and the red and the Nestle Crunch, and, like, I'm sold on the uh, the ad wizards. Hmm. I think that Nestle Crunch outclasses Crackle. It's a nice bar. The Crunch is a nice bar. The fun size, thicker ones... Oh, delicious. The classic mm-hmm. full-size yep. thin one, great. I'm proud of you here, BD. I like this choice. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're, you're saying you said it already. That may be a bad sign. You may be starting to wonder if you should no, do it No, I'm over. good. I'm secure. Madeline, you're next. I was doing other research knowing it was going to be there for me, so I just, I'm, I'm thrilled. Madeline, I just got a, a text saying that your mother will not be happy that you didn't get Butterfingers. What? I didn't. You didn't get Butterfingers. Oh. Your mother will be unhappy about that. Well, my that bro- well, I must true. say my brother really loves Butterfingers a well, lot. Well, he, he was nice to trade them to me for <laughs> nickels uh, a few years ago. Uh, all right, so your turn. What do you think here? Okay, I've gone with mainly fruity stuff, and I'm going to go with Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Mm-hmm. Another... Uh, Stalwart. Best known for a pool prank in Caddyshack. Probably. Sure. What have we got in there, Madeline? Chocolate? Nuts? What else is in there? It's a deformed Snickers bar. A deformed Snickers bar. That's what it is. (laughs) No. It can be a little hard hard to eat. Like It it will fall apart on you, but I'm an admirer of the Baby Ruth. Yep. It was on my board, I got to admit. No, you're getting yeah. some. You're getting you swatted. You swooped in and took it away. The Al Davis comparisons might slow down here uh, perhaps, for Madeline yes, with yes, that choice. Perhaps. <laughs> Tom for two. Okay, uh, I'm going to need a ruling. As we did, Reese's is all encompassing. Hershey's that is all encompassing of all Hershey's varieties. Correct. Well, Hershey's milk chocolate, Hershey's dark chocolate, Hershey's. But, but you're not getting crackle, Hershey's and you're not getting Mr. Goodbar. Am I getting cookies and cream? Mm, yes. Then I I will <laughs> gladly. <laughs> I will gladly it's, it's, take Hershey's. It's called Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Yeah. yeah. I, think, Mr. I, think, I think this is fine. Mr. Goodbar stands on its own, as does Crackle. Mr. Goodbar is junk anyway. I don't want it. Oh, my. I would take, I would so take it if it were the guy who just called Baby Ruth deformed. It is deformed. <laughs> it that wasn't even a knock at it. It's like they took the mold away and said, make a Snickers, and mm. it comes out looking that way. But Hershey's Cookies and Cream is good enough to pick on its own, but I get regular Hershey's chocolate. Fine. That is a good pick. I will take Hershey's bars right there. And here is where we mix it up with my second pick. I'm all chocolate so far, and I'm not even that big of a chocolate guy. So I have to go sour. You sure have a lot to say. Yeah, I do. (laughs) Because I've actually eaten candy once in my life, Mike. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. So we're going with Sour Patch Kids, or as I lovingly call them, SPKs. It's a great pick. I want to, see, I want to absolutely slaughter everything you say, like rip the flannel shirt up over your head and just rain rights on you. But I love Sour Patch Kids. Everyone mm-hmm. does, man. Mm. What st- are they? What are oh you doing God. here? Oh, Go home! Someone really should remove him. I'm, yeah. I've never been more embarrassed <laughs> to be a part of the show. So it, it's, it hurts your teeth, right? They're like, you can't no. you oh just my God. suck on them? No. What have, what have we got You here? can do either. Who's- you can suck them until they're sweet, and then, or you could just chew them, and I they're sweet these. and sour. They sound bad, but I'd try them. Well, Maybe do that before the next It's amazing that you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> they sound terrible, but I might want to try them. All right, uh, Sour Patch Kids. Madeline, why don't you make your next pick here, if you would? Okay. I'm going to go with... Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with blow pops. Blow pops. I'm gonna. I mean, solid, all right. Solid pick. All right. I mean. How many picks till me? Because like I'm, I'm gonna rock one. myself in the fetal position till my pick comes up because I, I really want something so badly. Bulldog, and then you. But we'll wait till the break. Madeline goes what? blow pops at uh, <laughs> 17 overall. We like that for value. I think I might. 
There are better pops out there. If uh, if Bulldog takes this player from me, I, I, I don't know what I'll do. Well, tune in, everybody. Stay with us and find out what Jeremy might do if Bulldog takes his candy. <laughs> it's the candy draft here on Halloween. <laughs> Jeremy White, Tom Sitch, Madeline, my niece, Mike Shope and the Bulldog. At 5.30, we'll be wrapped up and we'll have Sigmund Bloom on to talk about the weekend in the NFL and a fa- with a fantasy slant. And we'll have picks at 6 o'clock. All coming up here on WGR. <laughs> The world looks mighty good to me Cause Tootsie Rolls are all I see Whatever it is I think I see Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me Tootsie Roll, how I want your chocolate chew Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you Whatever I can't it take is it anymore. I think I see <laughs> Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me Bulldog's picking, and then I'm up. I've already, I've already like written it down. I've, I've tweeted it. I'm actually tagging the candy. It's official Twitter account. So make your pick, so I can, I can be thrilled about mine. Wow. <laughs> I, I spent the whole break in here, desperately wanting to crawl inside of your draft room and <laughs> steal this from you, just so your head would blow off of your shoulders. I might have to leave, but I don't, I don't know that I can possibly pull it off. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take Milky Way, which is easily the highest rated candy bar okay. left on the board. Okay. Uh, very respected. I don't know. There there was some talk about a positive drug test at the Combine, and it fell here, and I'm happy to take Randy Moss. Thank you. Randy Moss. Shut up, Three Musketeers. <laughs> you know, if there's one thing I'm thinking about today that I'm glad for, it's that Tom doesn't like sports because he <laughs> has a hatchet in his hand, and he is just flinging it at us, con- at me, uh, constantly, which I could probably use, but if he likes sports, I just might crash. Uh, Milky Way for Bulldog in round four. Here's Jeremy now with the 19th overall pick in the candy draft, hashtag candy draft. Snickers, Starburst, and the Lint Gourmet Lint Chocolates family. That's correct. Mike and Ike's. Mm. Mm. Respect. Respect is right. Tell right. us more for those of us who don't know uh, what that is. Mike and Ike. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Oh. Were you geez. grown in the, the lab? For the many. For the many of us listening, Jeremy, that don't know, Mike and Ike's uh, Mike are and Ike. so. Here's how. Here's how good Mike and Ike's are. Let's look at all the candies that have been drafted so far. How many of them do they put in a giant, disgusting <laughs> jar at a gas station and tempt you like, you want a couple of these for a quarter? And you're like, yup, I sure do. You will brave germs and who knows what to get six of them for a quarter out of a. I mean, they could be there for a decade and you wouldn't even care. And you want those Mike and Ike's? I'll take those Mike and Ike's. Okay, are they chewy or? Why are you still here? <laughs> I, can't even, I, can't even I can't say this any other way. I can't look at him. I'm going chewy with these these two picks. Are you, are you sure? sure? Are you, do you know? <laughs> are you googling candies and just? I mean, they just... <laughs> if they are hard candies, you're like the guy at the teeth, fantasy draft yes. that, that drafts Barry Foster the year after he retires or something. <laughs> you know, you draft guys that are out of the league. I, I don't know. I must be the only person that thinks Reese's Three Musketeers and Butterfingers are good. You could have done way better. So much better. You, I mean, you can't tout Reese's. You had the first pick. Yeah. And Musketeers oh. was a gigantic bungling. <laughs> a, bung- a gigantic bungling. Okay. Noted. I'm going to go with Junior Mints right here. <laughs> I don't. Peppermint patties were considered, but Junior Mints, I've got three big candy bars. Junior Mints, I can sort of take my time. One, two, do I want them all right now? Do I want to save a few (laughs) Junior Mints? And then I'm going to go with Raisinets. What? Oh my God. (laughs) Yes. What is wrong with you? Raisinets. You have have to go home. I don't want to work Oh my gosh. Are you tanking? Is that what this is? Are you tanking? How can you tank a draft? You can't take a draft. You already have the number one. You don't need What's it What's the problem? Raisins? You ever had a Madeline? 
Yes, I've had raisins. You go to the but... movies, what do you buy? Raisinets. Yeah, a no? less flavorful grape shrunken down. Thanks oh. a lot. Covered in chocolate. What kid Dude. wants They're raisins? Good. You don't think so? I don't. If I got raisins, I would not be excited about it. I can't believe you it. took raisinets. <laughs> And it's, it's, raisinets are so bad that they're burying <sighs> Junior Mints. I honestly thought you couldn't do worse than Junior Mints. I thought, like, you know, try, try to do worse, and you... Wow. I'm very happy with these. I like them. Good for you. Tom will be happy. It must be well, hell he living in your house. He I won't say it. <laughs> He'll, he might be impressed just that I know the names of other candies. Junior Mints and Raisinets. Jeremy, want to take your... Fifth round pick right here? No, I, I'm, I'm going to take it after the break, if you don't mind. I'm th- so thrown okay. by Junior Mints and uh, Raisinets. I've got to redo my board because I had Raisinets right at the top. <laughs> wow. I'm sort of stunned. I'm taken aback by this reaction. But I, well, I just... Raisin- I guess I was supposed to pick some candy at right, the gas that- station that hurts your teeth okay. instead. Or it tastes uh, good. Mike and I don't here. hurt your teeth. Mm. No, they don't. They're they don't? wonderfully chewy and, and delicious. delicious. Yeah. Mm. But chewy. You'll, you'll what have, do they taste? You'll, you'll, are they chocolate flavored? Juicy. Or what do they taste it's like? very juicy. You'll have, juicy. They they're taste so, juicy. They're, they're so juicy. If you eat a handful of them, it's like it's just. Yeah. Mm. It's a symphony. Yeah. You will have minty fresh breath though, which is nice. <laughs> which you can also get by brushing your teeth when you're done eating candy. Oh. Well. <laughs> Tom makes a good point. <laughs> All right, well, the candy draft continues at 5.30. We'll talk football with Sigmund Bloom. Thanks for all your tweets. Just, it's awesome to see how many people are reacting. Mike Schopen, the Bulldog, Jeremy White, Tom Sitch, my niece Madeline, everyone on hand here for the candy draft on WGR. Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes! The danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Halloween Candy Draft. This is kind of strange. Yeah, strange, Charlie, but it's fun. <laughs> On WGR. Okay, we are having some fun with the candy draft, and we're all just, I think, loving Twitter here during the commercial breaks. <laughs> Raisinets are the CFL team that drafted the player that was dead. <laughs> I like them. I obviously yeah. don't. You guys don't think I have the breadth that uh, you all do when well, it comes to candy. 50% of the picks, you're asking us, what is that? <laughs> what does that, that taste like? Is it that many? Hard candy, that's right. I just have never liked it. Mm-hmm. All right, here are the results so far. I'm the only one with five picks in, uh, and these are all gems. Reese's, Three Musketeers, Butterfingers, Junior Mints, and Raisinets. How does anybody get all five of those? Uh, Jeremy, who's next, goes into I'm his next trying. pick. With, I'm going to go uh, with not drying. Snickers, a dartboard. <laughs> Snickers, Starbust, Lint. Starburst, wow. What did I say? <laughs> Starbust. <laughs> Starbust. <laughs> wow. Hi. <laughs> Starburst. I mean, th- th- this, Snickers, is, this, is, wait, this is this is Marv saying Max Liner, right? <laughs> Starburst. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Snickers, Starburst, Lint, and Mike and Ike's. How'd I do? Fine. Uh, Bulldog has Skittles, Twix, Nestle Crunch, and Milky Way. Milky Way, nice value. Madeline, my niece, is here. She's 13. She has Jolly Ranchers, Pop Rocks, the Baby Ruth Bar, and Blow Pops. And Tom sits with M&M's, Kit Kat, Hershey's Bars, and Sour Patch Kids. Man, that's a strong team, Tom. Thank you. I'm looking Thank over you. there. I'm seeing some competition. That's yeah. a strong team. I, I have a lot of respect for your team, yeah. too. Well, I'm going to have to – got to add to my team. I'm up on the clock here. And I'm going to go to a highly ranked central scouting bar, candy bar here. To kind of fortify my, you know, I look at the, the fruit-based candies as the forwards, the flash, and the chocolate is the D. That's going to really lock down things. I'm going to go with 100 grand as a very, very good late-round pick. I'd say most people don't even know what 100 grand is, and if they had it, would immediately like, oh, man, that's a good candy bar. It's awesome. I was counting on that as a late-round 100 sleeper. grand in this spot, 
It is good. What is that little crunchy stuff in there? Is that nuts? It's the same crunch thing up? in uh, Nestle's. Nestle's Crunch. It's like, a, like it's rice. Rice. rice? Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. Nestle. It's a, if you took a Nestle Crunch bar and wrapped it around like caramel. I've that's never an, had one of these. Oh well. I don't know. That's an idea that you can't have them because they're on my team. So. It sounds yeah. like it shouldn't work. <laughs> it's better than it sounds. You Raisinets. Know, rice. This is Rob Gronkowski <laughs> a- after Terrell Troop. That's what this is right here. Raisinets. One hundred grand. Okay. One hundred grand. Yes. BD, round five. Over to you. Well, time is starting to become a factor for me here. I don't know how much, how many rounds we're going to get in. I have, um, unlike the rest of you, uh, an international fan base to consider, spending two months or more in a Canada. year in Canada. So, um, I, I mean, I just really couldn't any longer withstand the overflow of requests. And it's respectable. The Coffee Crisp is a dynamite candy bar. So, not worrying about whether it comes in fun size because we're drafting giant things that, yeah. that no, you know, nobody would rightly give out at their door. I am going to take delicious, overlooked in America, sadly, coffee crisp. What is that? Alternating layers of vanilla wafer and foamed coffee flavored soft candy covered with milk chocolate. It's delicious. Mm. So it's a Kit Kat with some coffee in it? Because oh. <laughs> I could have swore we hated Kit Kats. You know, Tom's... And those wafers tasted like sawdust. <laughs> Are these that different? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Vanilla... Fla- Did you miss the vanilla wafer? I feel like... This yeah. Vanilla this, wafer. This draft is like surviving <laughs> Tom's scorn is really what this is. You make a pick, you just kind of oh. clinch up like... Tom says I respect it. Okay, good. It was a, it was a good pick. Have you ever had a coffee crisp? Yes. Okay. I don't believe you. I don't like coffee things, so I tried it once. Mm. But uh, if yeah. you're gonna slam Kit Kats, I I don't see how you justify that pick. Well, you know so much about it. Uh, let's go to Madeline with her pick in round five. Madeline. Okay, this one I haven't had one in a while, but I a lot of people that I know like them. Ooh. Fun dip. That is a great late round pick. I mean, Fun Dip. This is the one you were being fun, asked about. I, yeah, Fun Dip. I got all kinds of Fun Dip chatter on my Twitter feed. This I is, have no idea what just, Fun Dip is. You just it's dip like, a spoon into some sort no, of dip and no, eat no, it, right? No, no, no. It's a like a sweet little. It's like a. I don't know. It's is like a bowl <laughs> of sugar that you stuff a spoon in. I and might eat be it? able is to help you. What's in there? <laughs> the powder is very much like a pixie it's, stick powder. Yeah, it's mm. sour. But the spoon is edible and tastes very yeah. much like a sweet tart. Yeah. Wow. It's a nice combination. So yeah. Sounds fun actually. It is fun. Yeah. Mm. Fun dip. It's got great utility. All right, nice Madeline. Thanks. Really stumped the panel with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom for two. So many great options left on the board that I feel like everyone is just sleeping on. Um I'm gonna go with the take five bar. I thought that was grouped in with the Reese's family. That is a Hershey's product. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. I have yeah. a, I have a Wikipedia page open <laughs> on the Take 5 mm. bar. Does it say awesome freaking candy bar it's on a it? It's Snickers with a pretzel in it. That is not <laughs> correct. There's no nougat. <laughs> <laughs> not, There's no nougat. There is peanut butter, caramel, peanuts, pretzels in milk chocolate. It is delicious, and it is not a Snickers. Just can you feel that coming through your radios? <laughs> does it does it get I'm warm hot. in your car when Tom <laughs> talks? Five ingredients: milk, chocolate, peanuts, caramel, peanut butter. Whoa! And pretzels. And pretzels. The pretzels are huge. Right. What else in this draft has pretzels so far? What am I me? missing about what's not in a Snickers? Then? Nougat. That's, besides the pretzels. Uh, it's, it's funny you say that. Nougat Tom. and peanuts. One thing. The one thing I think I've missed here is I haven't drafted enough pretzel products. <laughs> you got mints locked down though. Mints. That's got to make you feel good. I mean, and raisins. Sweet treats. Yes. I guess I overlooked the nougat. Mm. You did. You know what? It happens once in a while. Happens to the best of us. Mm -hmm. Take five. All right, Tom. That's your fifth round pick. You probably set that up that way. I did. And what's next here? We're going to go. We're getting them out of the green room. We're going for Swedish fish. Oh, man. Welcome to the team. I like not having to choose between Swedish fish and Sour Patch Kids because sometimes you're in the mood for one, sometimes you're in the mood for the other. See, and now I can strike that balance. I, I waited on Swedish fish because of the presence of Starburst on my team. Yeah. I didn't want to draft them too close together. It was definitely on my board, but a little too similar for me. Yeah, and, you, and I mean, you know, I could follow up with ju- are Jujubees allowed? They're similar. Sure. <laughs> I have that on here. Yeah, They're are not as good as Swedish No, they're fish. not close. That's right. It's a poor man's Swedish fish. <laughs> Stale, hard <laughs> teeth. Breaking Ma- Swedish fish. Madeline, your thoughts on Swedish fish? 
it's I think it's a good one, but I mean, they're not my favorite. Kind of bland. I don't know. Really, yeah. almost not even like bland. candy. Swedish fish, bland. Yeah, I th- you guys must be lacking, like, lacking I agree. like well, the, the, the DNA. It must be like genetic the, because they <laughs> plain old original Swedish fish are yeah. kind of bland. There's only one kind of Swedish fish. There's no <laughs> plain and right. Well, you have they. You can get a bag that's all reds, or you get a bag that's red, yellow, orange, yellow. and green. What? Oh yeah, all all reds. <laughs> Yeah. I like green. I think they're kind of. Oh, blue. don't sleep on green. I think they're kind of blah. Mm, not, that's incorrect. Not a lot of not a lot of pop there. Yeah. Doesn't pop off the off the off. Just doesn't pop. Interesting. All right, Madeline, back to you. Round six. Okay. <laughs> doesn't pop. My next pick is going to be nerds. Good pick. Mm-hmm. That's tell a, us that's about a nerds. Halloween one too. <laughs> I like not? how Mike says, "Tell us about nerds," because he has no <laughs> idea what them. nerds are. Yeah. I assume they're little. Yes, yes, they are. They're little, like you come in a pack, and there's like a ton of little candies, and they're usually sour, and then they're sweet. It's like the outside is sour. You seem then... to like the contrast that yeah. you get in your candy. I do. Fun dip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nerds. <laughs> okay, Madeline. Here's Bulldog back up in round six. Any other Canadian uh, options? Uh, no, here I'm for done you? satisfying my uh, Canadian fan base. Uh, I feel like I've done I've done my duty. Uh, I lost out on a, a big favorite in Sour Patch Kids, and mm-hmm. recognizing that what I'm about to pick is you know pales in comparison to the variety of flavors available in a box of Sour Patch Kids. I like sour. I need mm-hmm. sour. And to me, the best sour available is the fabulously retro-ish Lemonheads. I'm going Lemonheads. Love them. And I assume with that, you get the other fruit-flavored heads that sometimes come in a variety pack, which are also great. Sure. Lime heads? Uh, Apple heads are the green ones. Apple heads? Big fan of lemon. I love seeing them on the boards in the United Center during the Blackhawks games. Love the band, the Lemonheads, so Lemonheads. I got to say, is... Is Warheads the same? As, no, no. I mean, different, different family. Okay. Let's hear about Warheads. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother story. Don't give, don't give it away. Time. Don't give it away. Okay. okay. We might have time for a seventh round. Anybody else getting texts from people they never hear from? Yes. <laughs> getting a lot of that today. All right, we go to Jeremy again. Oh, boy. Keeps happening. Yeah. The candy draft, everyone. Bye week. You know what? Have you seen the Sabres? <laughs> I you know I feel like this might not be on any boards and I don't care like any, anytime I see this put it this way, if I get any sort of gift bag if I get these on Halloween this is a major score, I mm. think Madeline's gonna like this and I think Tom and I'm not sure Mike won't know what it is, <laughs> Chris I don't know that should be tough I'm taking Airheads oh, Airheads are great that's a good one never heard of it Airheads oh you gosh, like taffy so... that's what Airheads yeah. Airheads is professional ta- I mean it's well it's you know corporate mass produced candy but taffy but Airheads are Awesome. Mm-hmm. Tons of flavors. Even White mystery. Bag. Yes, There's even mystery? the mystery flavor, you know? That's a good one. It's like a taste or a test for your taste buds. <laughs> Airheads. Airheads, yes. Mm-hmm. Pick some up. Me now? I know it is. Anybody has anybody drafted anything that you would have had in Willy Wonka's big room in the main room of that chocolate you factory? Can do that? No. Okay. But <laughs> I'd like the river of chocolate, That's... please. <laughs> the chocolate river. Would, what would you pick if you could pick something from there? Those mushrooms mm. with whether whether it's whipped cream and the little holes in that mushroom. Could you eat the mushroom? What would that taste like? I don't mm. think you can you can draft that. I, I'm going to go twice here, thinking we're going to get seven rounds in, and I will take with my sixth round pick, paydays. Well, you got raisins, so you might as well have peanuts, too. Uh, just the candy bar that has no chocolate in it. It's just like yeah, peanuts, peanuts, peanuts glued what? together. Glued together yeah. with super glue, yep. and they fall and They're crumble probably, all over your car. There is a chocolate payday. Mm. Mm. Payday looks like it was discovered or invented because they dropped peanuts behind, like, a forklift, and it got stuck together, and they ripped it off the floor, and somebody decided to eat it. Never on payday. And in, in round, good is good. You know, all these, you guys are having a lot of fun at my expense. All these... Weirdo, fruity, hard, boxed gas station candies on stuck to paper. I, I don't even know. Yeah, what, they don't sell paydays at gas stations. I know. I'm <laughs> I'm the outsider here. But candy bars, that's what Halloween is about. That's what you hope. It's what I hope for 
going door to door. Is somebody going to give me a big candy bar? Clark bars. I'm not even sure it's been mentioned yet. Not only has it not been drafted, Clark bar is another one. A little bit like Butterfinger. Uh, that's one I've always, I don't know if this is, again, showing me as old. I'm going back to when I was a kid because I'm not doing that much trick-or-treating at 42. But Clark bars, nice. I'll go with that in round seven. Is anybody else going to say they don't know what that is, and then I say something? I, I'm not funny sure that, that you know what it is. I mean, you've you know. A I don't know times. what a Clark bar is. I'm I mean, having trouble thinking of what's different between that and a Butterfinger. And uh, you have so a red wrapper versus a well, yellow. No, that, yes. I, I, that would make it a good pick in my book because there, the the toffee families. There are some that are so similar that you could probably sneak it in in a late round and pretty pretty much feel like you had a Butterfinger. The Clark bar, yeah, but he already has Butterfinger. Is a fatter version of a Butterfinger. Okay, it feels like a little thicker. And it's another one of these, like, it kind of falls apart easily, but good. Good good candy bar, I'd say. Madeline, a lot of people think you're doing great. Okay. Yeah. Madeline well. has cleaned up her defense and has solidified <laughs> her draft. Holy Moses, Madeline is ripping this up. <laughs> up to, is it me? Yes. My pick. Madeline just won the candy draft, this person um, says. Hmm. Looking at my team, Snickers, Starburst, the Gourmet, Lindt, Chocolate, Tears, Family Candy, whatever that is. Mike and Ike's, 100 grand, Airheads. I think it's time to go back to the bar and back to the chocolate. Heath is available, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Heath. Mm -hmm. Toffee? Yep. Heath Bar. Good one. Well, well, how can, you, can you explain toffee? What, what <laughs> oh, is the deal man. with that? What is, what is toffee? It's like hard butterscotch, yeah. but not so There's hard taffy, that it's a hard candy. But not a hard candy. It's like a little chewy, but it's not It's not caramel. It's not hard. It's in the middle. Interesting. <laughs> Delicious. Heath Bar. Heath Bar. They're kind of classy, too. Yep. They're a step classier than your Snickers and Milky Ways. Toffee. It feels like it's Brit-it. You know, it's just, it, it just feels <laughs> it j just right. I mean, it, there's some, something about it just feels... A step, a step above. Your team has a great pedigree. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> BD, round seven. I see Skittles here. I see lemon heads, which have got some chocolate in there. A pretty well-balanced outfit. <laughs> I feel pretty good about my team. I, 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 I think I can get a candy bar that, while not being any kind of a groundbreaking originator or anything, although it does date well back it was introduced in 1920 your your classic combinations peanuts caramel mm -hmm. fudge coated in chocolate fudge in there oh henry i didn't know it was that old candy bar in fact when i first had them when i was a kid i thought maybe they were named after henry aaron <laughs> like i connected that i saw oh henry and baby ruth and mistakenly thought about baby ruth as babe ruth and oh henry as henry aaron but no but Classic. Hmm. Hmm. Thriller playing in 8-bit uh, <laughs> behind us. Candy has, shop. Has no one had playing. an O. Henry bar? No, that, yeah, sorry. Right. I've got? I don't know if I have. I'm happy about it. Fudge, I haven't heard that word at all uh, today. Right, well. Is that, is, is that a rare ingredient in candy bars, fudge? Is there something Perhaps about it is. fudge that you don't want to put know. that in your in your candy bars? I'll, t I, I'll, t I, I'll try to tweet a What's picture of this. It, lo it looks deli it's delicious. O. Henry. O. Henry. Perfect. Madeline, you know anything about that? No, I've never had the one. Kids, I don't even know. They don't know anything about old Henry's. Know what it, nope. Madeline, how about uh, another pick from you, please? Okay. Candy draft. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go with uh, chiclets, but not the not the big ones. The little, they're in a pack, and they're, like, really small. Small chiclets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mini chiclets. Yes. They're different. Is it still I, gum? I, I think chiclets yeah. are gum. Yes. So gum. it's like a okay. mini yeah. gum. Yeah. They're mini, like little mini gum. pieces and then. Yeah. Gum. Yeah. Chiclets. Get a different type I think in chiclets. There. I hear chiclets. I think teeth. Right. Well. I get paid to be here. Well, I go back I, to the I Sontag just, era. I just, I just said right. Go back to the Sontag years. <laughs> uh, Tom, one more. The we'll final pick. We'll Is this the final it. pick? Final pick of the draft. Oh, can we each sign one free agent? One speed round? Speed round. Speed eighth round. All right, Tom. One pick and then a speed round pick. One pick and then a speed round. Okay. Uh, seventh uh, round pick, I will take the Tootsie Pop. 
It's iconic. Mm. It has two things. They are very. She has blow, blow pops. Pop. Yeah. Tootsie All Pop, right. whole different animal. Two kinds <laughs> of candy in one. I agree. Uh, great commercial. And as my speed round, a last second pick, the Cadbury Scream Egg, which is just a Cadbury cream egg with green filling, which is awesome. Oh, I've seen that. Wow, I just never had one. I think East, like, like an Easter candy, Easter basket. But it's a Cadbury <laughs> Scream Egg, Mike. Mm. Yes, I got that the first time. <laughs> All right, Madeline, speed round. Okay, I'm going to go with Rolos. Like it. Nice. I had Rolos written down here. Rolos just sitting there. Rolos in round nice. eight. BD, speed round. Double bubble gum. <laughs> yeah. Bubble gum. Thank you. Is that different from chiclets? And isn't gum gum? <laughs> I don't know. No, chiclets, chiclets are, are chiclets. Fruit, oh, they're not gum. Well, fruity gum. It's a different boxed not gum. I'm texting. I'm going like little individual wrap. Bu- oh, I thought gum. Uh, okay, I thought gum was gum. Boy, if I get that in my bag, that is the end of Halloween. <laughs> if I get gum in my uh, Halloween bag, yeah, you can go throw them through the person who gave them to his window. <laughs> Speed round, pick, my turn. What? Yes. Or enjoy chewing them and <laughs> blowing bubbles because they're delicious. Oh, they're rocks. That was what you were saying there. Jeremy? Mentos. 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 Wow. Fruity Mentos. Fruity Mentos are great. Oh, okay. Tremendous. That's better. I mean, yeah. The, who, Thought you meant. I don't need the mint ones, no. no. And even the cinnamon ones, not so much. The Fruity Mentos, absolutely. Boy, I, I do like peppermint patties. They've not been picked. I did mention those fruit jelly slices that... We, I called Kelly's yeah, to right. find out what they were called. But this is Mr. Irrelevant. This is the last pick of the draft. I think I want to make Mr. Irrelevant dum-dums. That's fitting. That's a good one. Dum-dums seems like a good Mr. Irrelevant of a candy draft. Different. Butterscotch flavors. dum-dums would be the one I would want. Oh. Butterscotch. All right, I we're like done. Butterscotch I, I just want to say how proud I am to be associated with the, the, the five of you. We got through how many picks here? 40. 40 picks, and no one took candy corn, and I mean, I love uh, all of you more because of it. Good job, everyone. Good job. Alan, yeah. did you come close to picking candy corn? Never. Oh, in a million wouldn't years. Wouldn't do it. <laughs> no matter what they're saying about you on Twitter, you're all right, my book, kid. I'm currently uh, tweeting at every candy that I have taken in hopes of getting, like, a free box or something. Maybe they'll send something <laughs> to me. <laughs> Team 2 Marshmallows says Snickers, at Snickers, at Starburst, at Lint, at Mike and Ike. Never know. <laughs> And we did a draft. Happy Halloween, guys. Jeremy and Madeline, thank you for making the trip. You think airheads are on Twitter? Airheads. You guys are airheads and you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Had to do it. Jeremy's off to Niagara. Niagara yes. Hockey? Niagara is home tonight for AIC. What's Atlantic at, uh, American International. Is it bad that I. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. I'm saying, what's that? Like, uh oh. Should I have known what that is? Uh, thank you, Madeline. Nice job. Thank you for letting me be in your. Candy draft. You're welcome. Sigmund Bloom coming up to football with a fantasy slant. Next, Mike Schopen, the Bulldog, with Tom Sitch here on WGR.